<laughs> Welcome back to Halloween Blasts, Amanda, and I'm here with David again. Can't get rid of him. I told you I gave up on Karen. <laughs> Uh, we're here to be talking about the Midwest Haunters Convention that's actually going to be held not far from where we live, over in Schaumburg? Yep. It's in Schaumburg? Yeah. It's going to be, a, uh, it's finally coming back to the hometown of Halloween Blast, Chicago. It used to be in um, Ohio. Chicago. used to be in Ohio. <laughs> yeah. And now Chicago. it moved to, well, it's actually Schaumburg, but it's, it's in Illinois. It's nearby. Yeah. It's like a 30, 40 minute drive. It's yeah. close enough. But we're here to talk to you about the Midwest Convention, which is going to happen in a couple more weeks, actually. I hope June so. June 7th, 7th, 8th, and 9th? Yep. Yeah. June 7th, 8th, and 9th. So, All right, I'm getting it. Yeah, we went to Trans World, which we talked about last month in our videos. Or, yeah, this month. I don't know. These videos are getting posted out. <laughs> no, We've lost control, guys. We don't know when what was posted. Just go on the thing and look yourself. Yeah, so... Uh, Plus, we can tell you. But, um... There's a difference, big difference from Trans World and Midwest Convention. And actually, Mandy, you did some research, actually. Uh, this one's actually open to the public. Anybody basically attending this one. Uh, Trans World, if you look it up, um, basically you have to be part of a haunt to get into Trans World. Cause you, you have to register stuff as a haunt. They won't let just civilians in and stuff. Kids are welcome at Trans World, but something else I know is different. Um... Trans World, basically, your kids just kind of follow you around. There's not really a lot for kids to do. They can look at, like, the wares and stuff and be like, oh, my I didn't know those I kids at Trans World. I didn't yeah, see that. Actually, I, I never... um, when I got covered in, like, the bubbles, when I, when I tricked the guy into turning the bubble machine on to 100% and I was walking around with bubbles, I had a couple of little girls come up to me and they wanted some of my bubbles off my body. They were oh, so I small know, I didn't and know cute. They had the kids at they were Trans World. little to toddling toddlers you just saw her next to the thing you posed with, like, the big two monsters yeah. and stuff. They were, they were sitting there trying to climb them and stuff. It was so cute. But, um, there, there's not, like, a lot of kid-oriented stuff at Trans World. So, yeah, it's mostly for haunters. You can bring your kids, but... Uh, when I looked up Midwest Haunters Convention, they're actually going to be having a kid zone. It was funny, because I was looking through, like, their facts and stuff, and it says something about, like, oh, no, there's no kid zone and stuff and all that. There is a kid zone, according to their more updated stuff that's on there. Some stuff's old, some stuff's new. I don't know if they've noticed that. Guys, if you see this look into your stuff maybe update it all and stuff try and catch like the little things that kind of mismatch i don't know because it's kind of confusing i don't know if anybody else is confused but i think it's cool that they have a kid zone and stuff so like you can bring your kids and like you can walk around with your kids and they can see the wares but they can also you know take a break and stuff it's it's stressful on an adult to walk around any convention for any reason for a little kid with tiny little like that's a lot especially if you have like a little toddler or something that is a lot for them just for them to have somewhere to sit down, you know, drink some juice, you know. If I remember relax correctly, it's supposed to be like they're supposed to do like little kid makeups on them and stuff. Really? I, I didn't see that. I was digging. I didn't yeah. dig long. I digged, but I didn't dig very long. And it's supposed to be some kid activities for the little kids, but I went last time I looked it up and everything. So it's not just like this is a kid zone where they just run around and stuff. That's like actually stuff for them to do actually. I say like, it's more family family oriented, where it's just. Haunter family, it's the actual haunter and their family and stuff can all enjoy it. And it's open to other people too. Yeah, people, which is who, nice. people who love the haunted house industry actually come here and. We had so many people ask about trans world and stuff and how do they get tickets and they're not part of the industry. They're just like family and friends and stuff, friends of friends, and they're so interested and they think it's so cool. You know, daytime jobs. I've had people at my job ask me, you know, oh, that's cool, I'd love to go. And it's like. You can't go to Transworld, but I did tell them, you know, Midwest Haunters Convention, that's that's open. You can, you can go to that and stuff, and you'll see some of the stuff that you did see at Transworld. A lot of people that had boots at Transworld will be at Midwest Haunters Convention. A lot of people we know pretty well will be there. So I, I think that's something that's good for you know, like people that are on the outside and stuff. They get to actually, you know, see more behind the scenes and the stuff that's like their passion. That They don't have an in on yet this is their in kind of so it's nice for them yeah, and it's fun for us <laughs> but also not only the um at midwest convention is there's a lot of booths that are going to be there um they actually have a chicago booth actually there. like our Hunter friends house our friends hunter house chicago will be there they have their own booth and they're actually gonna have every hunter house from chicago some from illinois from some from indiana like haunted hills is going to be there 
Uh, Dr. Scary from Wisconsin is going to be there. Dr. Scary's in Wisconsin? I thought they were in Indiana. No, Dr. Scary's in Wisconsin. They're out of state? I get confused. Yeah, so, I'm trying here. So, like, the people around the Chicagoland area. So, like, some haunts from Indiana, some haunts from Wisconsin, and the ones here, like, Stageville, Basement of the Dead, Even Tetris, Dead Rising. They're all going to be there, too, with their own little booths. So, you go check them out and everything, talk to the owners. They're going to be doing a lot of interviews with a lot of, like, the more, like, uh... Like, a lot of the, like, more popular characters. Like, a lot of us... Everybody knows Fluffy. I know for a fact they're going to be interviewing Fluffy. Everybody knows who Fluffy is. Um, who else did I see on there? Um, the, who was it? The doc, uh, d the dentist from Realm of Terror is one of them. Uh, that, that's completely a different note for something else, but that was one of them. Uh, I know Madame Buna from Hell's Gate is going to be one of, the, one of the people they're going to interview. I don't know if they're going to be, like, having, like, a whole group session where they're all just going to be sitting there and go from person to person, but... That'd be cool if they had them all in one group. Well, funniest thing is, uh, thinking when, um, Hell's Gate is going to be, uh, hosted by, uh, John the Flamboy. They're having, uh, the dating game of the dead. <laughs> it's it's kind of like that game, if you ever seen the game show, where it's like the girl sits on one side of a wall in a chair. And they put three guys in a chair on the other side of the wall and stuff, and she asks, like, a question, you know, mystery guy number one has to answer, mystery guy number two has to answer. They're going to basically be doing that with, with the dating game of the dead, and the list I have of people that are going to be the dead that you're going to be I, 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 I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. This is what I think it's going to work. Uh, they're going to have Madame Buna from Hell's Gate is going to be taking part in it, Daisy from Midnight Terror, the Dentist, again, from Realm of Terror. Fluffy will be there from Statesville. Linus from Evil Intentions. And Clown from Massacre. That's the list of people I have that I know are going to be in this. It's a two-part thing. I can't remember if it was uh, part one's on day one and part two's on day two, or if it's just, like, one earlier in the day and one later in the day, but it's going to be a two-part thing. And that's something I really want to be there for. <laughs> I gotta look into that where I really want to be there and see it. It's going to be hysterical. It's going to be so much fun to see that. I used to watch that game when I was little. Like they don't—I don't know if they even have that on TV anymore. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen it in a long time. That was something that I used to think was funny because the answers you get—you you get funny questions, you get funny answers. I hope they do that. I hope to God but also, they do that. You know, also they're gonna have a tour there too, right? Uh, the bus tour. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna have a bus tour. That's um. For some reason, for some reason, I only have the one day. Is it just the one day? No, it's two days. Two days? Well, I only have the one day listed on here. Well, but, talk about uh, the one day, the big one, on Thursday. Uh, Thursday, June 6th, starting at, starting at 10 a.m. I have no idea how long this is going to take. I think it's from 10 to 10. Well, they're going to be going to Dead Rising, uh, Midnight Terror, The Massacre, and Basement of the Dead. And, oh my God, they're going to feed you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, there, there, there's like a party room at, at uh, Midnight Terror. They're gonna have they're gonna have pizza and a drink. Massacre. They're gonna have snacks after you go through it. Uh, Basement of the Dead. I read something about like the restaurant upstairs. There was like a whole damn like freaking menu they listed of food. Uh, I don't know if this is food that's like pre prepaid when you pay for the ticket or not. Which that is, is all included. Way, I'm not 100 percent sure. I, I didn't look too close at it. Um, tickets were less, but I'm going to give you the price now because it's after the deadline date for when they were less. Um, tickets are currently $230. I think That's, so. That's, yeah, $230. Because when this video goes up, it's going to be I can't after. remember. I think it was like $199 before like March 25th. After yeah. March 25th, the two, uh, $230, I think. Yeah. But, um, and then, then Friday, they're going to have a tour called, um, going to tour on Hell's Gate. Yeah, Hell's Gate's gonna have a tour. Oh. So Thursday. How did I miss that? Thursday's a big, you know, it's a big, big tour. It has four haunts, and then the next day is Hell's Gate only. Um, so you get to tour Hell's Gate. I don't know. If there's a behind the scenes going tour. To that one? Huh? Are we going to that one? I don't know. So yeah, so uh, <laughs> the Midwest Haunt Convention is gonna be it. June seventh, eighth, ninth. Um. The, the tours are going to be on the 6th and 7th. The 6th is the Fort Hunts. The, the 7th is the Hell's Gate. All the information is right here as it's popping up on the screen. And, uh, and you know, I say go check it out. You know, bring your kids and everything. It's open to the public so you guys, anyone can go to this one. This is, 
This is a day of like just go have fun. And also the cool and it's great. also the coolest part about all this is Halloween Blast and have his own booth there. Oh we're gonna be there sign our merchandise. And so you come actually meet me. Every day. Oh, yeah, every day we're gonna every be there. Every day. One of us might be walking around so I may not be there the whole time, but I will be at the like, one of us. So you automatically said, you know, I may not be there. Or guess who's gonna be at the boot? Hi, you'll see me. I mean, we're gonna, be, every we're, day. we're gonna be rotating, so you know. I'm gonna be there every day. Yeah, we're we gonna already be, know. I'm gonna be there every day. She's gonna be there every day. Karen's gonna be there every day. So you're gonna see them YouTube stars there. Talk to them. Say hi to them. We will be selling out merchandise and other products there. Um, I forgot our booth number. We could tell them at a later date. Right there, there's the booth number, right there. <laughs> Boom, that popped works. up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you ever gave me the booth number, so I can't even recite yeah. it for you. But we're going to be there at a Midwest convention. But speaking about products, on the next episode, we're going to reveal what we're going to be selling at the booth. So this, is a, so this is a part one of Midwest Hunters convention. Join us for part two. You ready? Is that, is that us? Are, are we done? Yeah, we're signing off. <laughs> we're signing off. All right, like, comment, subscribe. There's a little bell icon. You know what to do. See you next time on Halloween Blast. Bye, guys.